Welcome to another thrilling episode of Beyond the Scream, the show where we explore urban legends so old, even your grandparents roll their eyes. I am your host who, for legal reasons, must remain nameless. Much like the creatures we will be discussing today. First up, we have the illustrious Hookman. Originating in the 1950s, the golden era for cautionary tales and questionable fashion choices, the Hookman is the original handyman. Literally. This guy decided that prosthetics were too mainstream and opted for a hook instead. Talk about committing to a theme. Legend has it that he terrorizes young couples parked in lovers' lanes. Because nothing says romance like a guy with a hook hand tapping on your window. Maybe he's just trying to return a lost jacket, but who knows? The lines between reality and I'd read it on the internet, so it must be true, are wonderfully blurred here. The idea of a killer lurking in the shadows is terrifying, they say. But honestly, wouldn't you be more scared of the astronomical gas prices while idling in a secluded spot? Priorities, people. Next on our list of spooky cliches is the vanishing hitchhiker. This tale is so universal, it's practically the fast food of urban legends, available in every culture with slight variations in flavor. The story always starts with a driver who, against all common sense, picks up a hitchhiker. Because nothing bad ever happens when you invite a stranger into your car at night, right? The hitchhiker inevitably disappears before reaching the destination, leaving the driver with unanswered questions and, presumably, an incomplete Uber trip. Who is the hitchhiker and why do they disappear? Great questions. But let's focus on the real issue. Why are we still picking up hitchhikers in the age of rideshare apps? Perhaps a hitchhiker is just socially awkward and decides to bail when small talk gets too intense. Or maybe they a ghost who realized they left the oven on in, in the afterlife. The possibilities are endless. Finally, we arrive at the Slender Man, a modern legend born from the depths of the internet where all credible information originates. This tall, faceless figure in a suit has become the poster child for online horror. Because nothing is scarier than a well-dressed man who can't take a selfie. His simple image is enough to send chills down my spine, says someone who clearly needs to adjust her thermostat. The Slender Man's rise from a photoshopped image to a full-fledged urban legend just goes to show that with a little creativity and a lot of free time, anyone can become internet famous. Take notice, aspiring influencers. What's truly frightening is how seriously people take these stories. We've connected them to real-life locations, given them backstories, and even blamed them for unexplained phenomena. It's almost as if humanity has a penchant for dramatics. Who knew? These legends tap into our deepest fears. Strangers, the dark, commitment, the usual suspects. They persist across generations because nothing brings people together like a good old fashioned campfire story that keeps you up at night. Or perhaps it's because we enjoy the thrill of being scared without any real danger. Like riding a roller coaster that's inspected only occasionally. But let us not forget the unsung hero of these tales. The moral lesson. The hook man warns us against the perils of teenage hormones and subpar security systems. The vanishing hitchhiker teaches us that picking up strangers is a bad idea. Groundbreaking insight there. And Slender Man? He reminds us that spending too much time on internet forums might not be the healthiest hobby. At the end of the day, these stories leave us with a sense of wonder about the unknown and about how much free time people had before television. They showcase the power of storytelling and our innate desire to scare ourselves silly. After all, why confront real world problems when you can obsess over a faceless man in a suit lurking in the woods? So next time you hear a bump in the night or spot a shadowy figure out of the corner of your eye, just remember, it's probably nothing. Or maybe it's the hook man looking to borrow a hand Pun absolutely intended. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the exaggerated and delightfully absurd world of urban legends. Until next time, keep
keep your doors locked, your hitchhikers visible, and your internet legends fact-checked. Sleep tight. Exploring the dark, urban legends, floor seals. Floor seals. Floor seals.